how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. Have you missed us? Oh, we missed you so much. Are you ready to do some fall decorating? We want to start off the season exciting. Something very easy, anybody could do. Very basic step-by-step -step instructions even for beginners. Quick wreath or decor piece for your home and as usual on the budget. If you like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you're not gonna miss any future videos coming up, okay? Let's get started, so exciting. <laughs> Let's wish, Coco, yes? Excuse me, what are you arguing about? Say hello, my besties. Hello, my besties. <laughs> Let's get started. Today's project is inspired by these pretty pigs that I picked out at Walmart. I love the mint green pumpkin. I think it's so trendy this year and it's just a great deal, better value than something you would find at the Dollar Tree. And look at that. You get a nice big flower, some berries, a mint green pumpkin and even two nice big leaves. Good value and you don't need to add much more to create something pretty out of these. For the base, I like to add a little bit of greenery, so like something like eucalyptus or silver dollar from the Dollar Tree. That is not a dollar, but a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> Still worth it, I think. Optional additional items like heather, that's just a dollar, or mini pomegranates. And uh, color coordinating ribbons, some floral foam, and we are going to put it all in a tobacco basket. If you don't have one on hand, you can use a Dollar Tree basket like I did previously in this video. You, I'm going to link it for you in the description box below. First, I am going to attach the floral foam to the basket. I'm not even removing the foil. I'm just going to keep it in there so it stays better, doesn't shed through the basket. And I'm going to use pipe cleaners, tie them together and tie my foam securely to the basket. Of course, I could use hot glue, uh, but um, I like to reuse my basket for different seasons and arrangements. Um, so I'm not gonna be using any hot glue today, but of course, um, if you wanna give it as a gift or sell it, I recommend you do use hot glue. Next, I'm going to insert two bushels of eucalyptus diagonally from each other just gonna trim the ends a little bit and insert it one at the top and the other one on the opposite corner at the bottom. Next, we are going to cut four strips of 25 inches long ribbon, and I'm going to show you how to make the easiest bow out there. <laughs> My subscribers already know how to make it. It's the bestie bow. All you have to do is measure five inch loops, pinch and hold them with your thumb, alternate the colors, five inches, pinch and hold, five inches, pinch and hold. You are going to tie it all together with a pipe cleaner. Just flip over the whole thing a few times so it's nice and tight. And then you are going to separate everything. Put your hand through each loop. This is just four loops. Of course, if you like to make a bigger bow, you just cut more strips of ribbon. <laughs> and then um, you're going to flip the ends. Uh, so make sure each ribbon is the right side up can flip it over and then if you have two or more colors you want to alternate them and put different colors next to each other mix these up okay run your fingers through each end the more you fluff the prettier it gets <laughs> that's the whole trick is the fluff <laughs> I hope you're going to give it a try if you haven't done it yet because I get comments every single day how much the bestie bow changed people's lives and that makes me so happy and proud of you especially those uh, who thought they were bow challenged this is not hard at all you don't need any special tools or even expensive ribbons to do that <laughs> To 
attach the bow, we are going to use an old flower stem as a floral pick. All you have to do is use that pipe cleaner that's in the back of your bow and wrap it around the stem a few times and to make like a bow pick. And then just insert it in your foam black. I like to add my bow first because it takes up a lot of real estate and then just add your pigs around the bow. That way uh, nothing gets covered up. Why would you cover up pretty pigs, right? <laughs> Speaking of which, we have three and look how easy this gets now. We're going just to trim the ends because they're a bit too long and you insert them in a triangle. Takes out all the guessing game out of the arrangement. So you add one in one corner. You can bend these. Actually, let me see. Maybe I should switch it. Let me see if I want to put it this way. You know, the berries. <laughs> the berries were already munched by someone. I wonder who. I have this naughty bird here that loves berries. And let me just try it this way around. Yeah, I think I like it better with a big flower in the corner. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to insert the second one at the top. Easy as that. That one actually could be taller because the basket is tall. Very nice, diagonally. And the third one, boom, we're going to place it here. And... Yeah, just trim a bit and you know what if even if you don't add anything else this is already a beautiful piece how easy was that very minimal supplies and if you want you could be done right there see a five minute reef you like to see my cherry on top right so i'm gonna play a little bit more with this you know we love the mini pomegranates from the dollar tree um, the header like i said just a dollar so you know you don't need to add much more to finish this up and take it to another level as you can see i'm trimming some of these stems longer uh, some shorter to add different uh, dimension to this reef. Uh, just insert it around and give it even some more interest. Look how pretty. Do you see how Heather extends this reef and brightens up the ends? It's a lot of cream where the mums are, but the ends were a little dark. So now the touch of Heather really made a difference. And now we are going to add the mini pomegranates around the bow. Since I have the silver dollar, I decide to use a little bit here. I just separate it in two pieces and I'm going to insert one at the top, another one at the bottom. 
um, I think we just need a little bit of the fall color leaves. What do you think? Look at that. I like mixing different uh, tones of greenery together. Have you seen this monogram leaf at the Dollar Tree? Brand new at my store, I just picked it up and I'm thinking maybe I could add it here. Look, when I thread it to my basket, it becomes a beaded hanger. How cute is that? So easy and it doesn't damage my basket at all. I could hang it now. I love that idea, don't you? Next, I decide to add a little bit raffia to the center of my bow. I think I just need that fall touch. <laughs> and this is very easy. Look what I do. Just fold one loop, fold another one, tighten the center, and I'm going to have a bow. That's it. Messy bow. <laughs> Use a little bit of floral wire or pipe cleaner, whatever, and tie that to the center of your bow. Do you like it? I hope you do. I found this cute little envelope sign at a Dollar Tree recently. It looks much more expensive than a Dollar Tree sign, right? We have to just give it a little bit TLC, uh, fix up that uh, hanger at the top. Uh, I'm just gonna tie a knot and we can reuse this jute shrink, thread the beads back and make a tassel out of jute shrink. I simply wrapped it around my two fingers, cut it on one end, and then tied it at the top, making a cute little tassel. Unfortunately, it looks like I forgot to uh, press the play button and didn't record it. I'm so sorry. Um, just tying a knot at the top, and then uh, I'm going to glue the tassel there. Just add a dab of hot glue. Here's the up close look at that tassel. You shouldn't have any problems recreating it. Very simple step, but really takes that sign up a notch, right? Makes it look so high end. You can take it a step further by adding a little bit silver dollar or the filler fern. a floral pick in the back of that sign and to use a little bit of hot glue and a band-aid or a piece of ribbon and make a pick out of it. That way you have a cute little steak that you can easily add to your arrangements. Let's see how it's gonna look with my tobacco basket. I hope you're gonna like it. Comment down below and let me know.
right, my bestie. So this is it for today. You see, Coco is exhausted. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you press thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and becoming our bestie, okay? Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> Make sure you tune in on Wednesday. I'll be taking part in the fall reefathon hosted by DIY with Nadia with many talented reef makers. See you then, my besties.